Welcome to Harvest Word Assembly, where the word comes like fresh bread from the ovens of heaven. And as you listen to God's servant, Pastor Gwenga Shafe, keep these words as they purify you in this journey of destiny. Genesis chapter 39, we start reading from verse 2. Hallelujah. It says, And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, of his employer. His employer at Zenith Bank. His employer at Chevron. His employer in that school. His employer in that engineering firm. He was in the house. But he was a prosperous man. He was a slave. But living as a free man. He was sold without identity. They attempted to change his course. And change his life. And change his destiny. But even in the midst of that experience. The scripture said. The Lord was with Joseph. Slap your neighbor your and say the Lord is with you. Now do it like you are a prophet. Say, the Lord is with you. Therefore, you will be prosperous. Most times we associate, please have your seat. So most, most times we associate uh, prosperity to things. But the scripture primarily associates prosperity with the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, yeah, when you, you should not be concerned when you are broke. You should be concerned when you can't find God's presence. Uh, are you with me now? I know, I know there's something when you look at that balance and you see 1,235 now 40 cobble. When you see that balance, you start feeling feverish. Uh, how many of you feel sick when you don't have money? You just, uh, I know that feeling, so I, I, it's not a good feeling. You just feel like uh, you have pain in your body and something is not right. Yes, I know, I know, you know. It's a Nigerian thing. Listen to me. The story of Joseph encapsulates. A mystery that there is nobody that God cannot change his life. It's a mystery to the church. Mystery Joseph. How can God take a man that was destined for death? because of his prophecy and and all of a sudden right where you sent him to die he began to flourish the bible says uh, the righteous shall flourish as a palm tree you've got prosperity in your dna not because of your job but because of your source your source is god don't look to your salary your source is god in spite of the fact that he was a refugee uh, he was in that nation uh, he was a slave without salary uh, yet he prospered he couldn't go out as he liked but he prospered he prospered said the lord was with joseph you want to know the secret of joseph is the presence of god there must have been something about Joseph that commended God, that commended him towards God, that God loved about him. Joseph was innocent. Joseph had a prophecy. Joseph was gifted. Joseph was righteous. Joseph would not back down from his righteousness. Joseph would not curse God when he was sold out. There is something that must attract God to you. And it's not always in the things that work in your favor. Many times, there will be things that are working against you. Because somewhere you know uh, that all things, uh, we eventually work for the good uh, of those, not everybody, for those who love God. Uh, so the first test to pass is the test of his love. Uh, when I pass the test of his love, uh, then God commits himself to making every other thing uh, work together. But if you're a Christian that only loves God, uh, when everything is alright, then you have failed that test. The story of Joseph is a story of 
one man's faithfulness beckoning to god's faithfulness he didn't understand everything about his prophecy he didn't understand everything about his life all he knew is that he saw something and he was going to lay hold on that thing that he didn't know how it would come to pass but step by step he leads me he kept taking one step and then he kept taking the other step he wakes up today he finds himself in the peter he waits for somebody to sell him then tomorrow he finds himself in potiphar's house then he chooses to serve then he goes to prison he says some more it seems that there is a connection between your lifting and your service there seems to be something about your prophecy and your willingness to serve your prophecy will never manifest if you fold your hands doesn't matter how powerful it is start from somewhere start from somewhere come on are you still here come on are you still here the lord was with joseph and he was a prosperous man. To, pros to prosper is to be without want. To prosper is to be without even need. You don't need anything. You don't want anything. Now. Because everything is around you and you don't need money to get it. Come on, are you here now? I said to prosper means that you have everything and you don't even need money to get it. Just a phone call. Come on, I say just a phone call. Just a phone call. That's where God is taking you to. I say that's where God is taking you to. You've got to understand the mystery of Joseph because it is God's sign language to us as believers. That no man has the final say. When you belong to Jesus, no man can write the last chapter of your life. Oh, there was a serpent and a viper that beat Paul after he shipwrecked. And he shook it into the beast. The Lord will not... That was the last chapter of the book of Acts. And yet God did not give the serpent the power to determine the last chapter of Paul's life. Listen to me. Listen to me. Give yourself to God. Don't give him your spirit and keep your soul. No. Give him your spirit, your soul, and your body. Don't let your joy be modulated by good things and by testimony. No. Let your joy be the joy of the Lord, not the joy of money. Come on. Say, my joy is the joy of the Lord. Not the joy of money. Sometimes you confuse the joy of money with the joy of the Lord. They are two different things. Because the day the money disappears and you try to sell something and you sell it at a loss, then your joy becomes something else. So he was prosperous. You see, there is something that I pray for. And it is that when the Lord begins to move in my life in a particular way, I don't want to have to talk about it before people see it. The scripture says in the next verse, in verse 3, he said, and his master saw, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. The master didn't confuse what he was seeing with the idol they worship. The, he didn't think, oh, it was Molech. He didn't think it was one of the ancient gods of Egypt. He said, this thing I'm seeing with this boy is not with any of our gods. There is something about this boy. He has no father. He has no lineage. He has no history. But there is something about him. Uh, we've been running at a loss in this organization. But when this boy came, uh, he didn't seem to have any education. But he knew how to organize things. Uh. Oh my God. There is something about your prophecy that God executes in silence. Uh. When the Lord began to speak to Joseph, uh, the Lord required him to be a keeper of sheep. Uh. Some of you are asking, where is my destiny? It is in that place God kept you. It is in that office where you just have a small Table without an AC and a fan, uh, and you always have to mop your face. Uh, but Joseph had to bend down uh, and bend his head uh, and be faithful uh, and report corruption uh, and call people to order and had to report his brothers to his fathers. Uh, there was something God was looking. Is he worthy? If if we if he's uh, is it an Emi local thing or is it an our local thing? Uh, is this something about me feeling I'm deserving of something? If I put you on the spot, uh, will you stand for righteousness? Uh, if they bring a contract uh, and and they said this one we are going to inflate it to 110 uh, percent we will keep 30 we'll give the company uh, 70 and then they just say okay uh, let, let's do it after all the money is not missing the money is not missing the, the company is expecting 100 naira and you even got 150 and you pocketed the remaining 50. After all, the money is not missing. If, you, if they ever called you to say, let us band together and do this project in a particular way, would you stand knowing that there is no want to check you there is no uh, there's nothing to there's no one to say you have done right or wrong joseph was 17 it didn't matter if he was righteous or not he was a young boy are you here because sometimes we look at him and say he's just a he's just a teenager hey god started looking at that boy when he was young 
God started paying attention to him. He said, this guy, there's something about him. He seems to have started well. Out of all the children of Jacob, this boy is, seems to be very different. Uh, where did he get that DNA from? Listen to me. The seed of prosperity really has very no, nothing, little or nothing to do with screaming and shouting. It has to do with posture. Posture. And it is not that day. They would have been looking at you. Your boss would have been observing that this boy is a truthful person. They would have looked at this boy is not one of those gossips here. You are not paid to gossip. You are not paid to, to, to talk about everything that is not working out. You, are, you, are, you, you, you don't come to the meeting and they say, is there any challenge? And you list five things and all of them are problems. Three of which can be solved on your desk. See, this company, we don't train anybody. We, we need to invest in training. Train yourself. It's okay to be in your name. Train yourself. Don't buy a week for a year. Plate your hair. Skin your head as a brother. You don't have to go to the saloon every day. Skin it. Skin it. Skin it. Let it be shiny in the mirror. You don't need it. When we are laying foundations, we are going down, not up. Got to go light. You should, you should dig the foundation in such a way that when you are coming out, you won't be encumbered. Take off those things. Sell that iPhone. Don't need it. Sell the iPhone. Go for a course. Certificate is in your name. Tell anybody, certificate is in your name. Do you know? How do you think that this man discovered that this boy, the Lord was with him? Do you think he saw a cloud? Do you think he saw the glory of God? Do you think or suspect that he dreamt and said, this boy is my son, you must do him no harm because I am the almighty God. No. They kept him in charge of the market. Maggie was not missing. See, even this one that is born here is from this country, this town, this village. He's a serial offender. He steals before he steals. He has done the thing in his mind. He has concluded he knows how much is in that place he, and he knows how to remove it and arrange it. You will not know that something is missing. That man observed him. He said, this boy has the spirit of excellence. He comes into a place. The first thing he does is to clean his desk and arrange his desk, the table. And um, Alignment. There's a way the chairs should be aligned. Not, not just sit anywhere. Sometimes I come around here and I see the way people sit. And when they sit, sometimes they sit in circles. And, and when they are going, they don't, they don't know. Let's tag these chairs. Nobody's thinking about it. God started observing a boy from 17. You are too old. Tell anybody you are too old. You have, God has watched you as decided. Say, and, and Pharaoh... Pharaoh saw, saw, he observed. Since this boy came to this house, things have been going well. Oh, come on. Was Joseph doing VG? He would have been thrown out. You are a slave. You are praying. Your God that could not save you till they brought you here. You are not praying, 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 prayer warrior. Does it mean Joseph did not pray? So, anything he touches comes alive. There's a breath of fresh air that goes with his personality. People could be moody in the office. The moment Femi comes in, does I have I ever start smiling? There's something they notice. There's an aura around you. It's not cloud. It's not glory. It's an aura. I said there's an aura that goes with your person. And that Potiphar was watching him. Where the son of the house cheats his own father, but the messenger is faithful. This one is more than 10 sons to me. May you be more than 10 sons. Amen. But it's not a prayer actually. He saw that the Lord was with him and the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. So if you, had a, if you have a death project, the, the Joseph anointing is what you need. You've tried something in your office, you've tried to do something at home, and the thing is not working. Let a Joseph come there. 
it will look like a joke. And this is the kind of prayer you should be praying. Because when this kind of anointing comes upon you, even when people don't like you, they can't despise you. Come on, are you here now? I said they don't like your face. They don't even like your name. Your name may be such that it has thin characters and cannot be pronounced except by you only. But it does not matter. We must rise above that thing where we say, oh, the church is where we are meant to be spiritual. And when we go out there in the world, we are supposed to be secular. There's no secular, there's no spiritual. You've got to bridge the gap. Can you imagine if somebody calls you now and says, ah, Buki, we want to bless you. Maybe it's a family you pray with and God really bless, you know, just helped them, gave them what they've been trusting God for. Now this is the MD of a company. We want to be a blessing to you. What can you do? You now say, I can pray. Ah, are you, do you understand what I'm saying? You can pray. Uh, what are we, we, we need to write something in the ledger. Maybe like a contract. Do you understand? We want to, want to be, you know that it's not because you're a contractor. They are just trying to be a blessing to you. And they say, what can you do? Say, Diola, what can you do? Say, I'm a, you know I'm a prayer word. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we have prayed, we've seen the answer. What can you do? Say, I can do designs. I can, I can do, I can run designs for your company. I can, I can write a program for this. I can, uh, I can supply this. I can do some interior decoration. I can, I can bake bread. I can organize your Easter party. Write any amount. They'll just tell you, write any amount. I can review all your SLAs and agreements and contracts. Oh, really? Good. The MD, we want to review everything. Come and challenge me. Sir, we have lawyers. No, we need an external consultant. We need someone. We just want, excuse me. To say prayer is the only thing you have. Hey. It's good to have prayer. But to say that's the only thing you have, <laughs> your journey is going to be very far. Because when the Lord prospered Joseph, it was because of the works of his hands. Everything he touched, they noticed the difference. Listen to me. Keep, you can do your master's, do your PhD, but I hope you know it's just paper. If, if our PhD was anything in this country, we won't be where we are. All right? The guys making it happen are those tech guys, those young tech guys, those young lawyers, those young... Uh, uh, task consultants, those who know that the system will not favor them, so they took their lives in their hands. Phil, uh, Potiphar saw it. It's not like, sir, are, are you aware that I can uh, write, I can review the contract in your office? No. How did Potiphar see it? Because they saw that this brother was willing to initiate projects without funding. Come on, are you here? They saw the effort. He comes and says, ah, Sir, we could actually rearrange this place, you know, rearrange the office so that everywhere is, we have more air coming in. Uh, you know, there's some kind of face contact. Somebody sitting here. You can see the other person at the end of the, of the aisle. There's some kind of facial contact, not just in a cubicle setting. You know, it's going to engender that whole interpersonal relationship. There's some kind of face to face connection. The guy is listening to you and say, Oh, man, this guy is wise. It's wise. It was not when they started the project. He saw his body language. This guy was always trying to set a record on his own excellence. There are men, there are men here whose wives cannot cook, but they, they, they must not say it. Because if they say it, they house will be on fire. And there are women also saying, it's no more popular for women to cook. Then it's no more popular for men to give women money. Abina, let's cook balance it. He said no. Listen to me. Whether you like it or not, please hear what I'm about to say. As you grow older, people will only associate with you based on their perception of your value. That thing, oh, we used to be friends from when we were a child. Please, we are no more children. Stop it. 
Stop it. And we used to be friends on campus. Now, she, if I don't call her, she doesn't call me. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. If you are the vice president or the wife of the vice president, she will call you. If your wife, if, if, if your wife will keep telling you that she's a personal, she's quiet, she's a, if she ever became the wife of the governor, all the lawyers in her set will organize themselves, say they want to come and greet the governor's wife. Don't deceive yourself. Huh? Even when you say you're a pastor, if you don't know how to pray and God answers, there will people will leave you in the bush. They say it's trying, but it's in the bush. That's where God's called him. Shouting, screaming. That old arrangement, oh, we are friends. And after he now left, he stopped calling. He since he relocated to Canada, he stopped calling. That's your problem. Because the next time you call me, it may be my PA that will pick. And they will tell you I've been in a meeting for six hours. And I should send a message. Don't let them meet you where they left you. The last time. Oh, are you here now? I said don't let them come back and meet you the same level of wisdom, the same level of prayer life, the same level of uh, dra being draggy and being slow. Be the same level of nobody wants to be my friend. The same level of I'm rejected, I'm feeling dejected. The same level of I have no father or mother. The same level of I have no job. Hey, create one. Hey. Don't let them meet you there. We've heard that one. Let's do some tears. I am saying to you, if there was anybody that should be offended at God, it was Joseph. Because Joseph didn't ask for his prophecy. Come on now. Joseph didn't ask for his prophecy. It was trust on him. And he had to find his way. And it's so amazing that even his own father, who, who is a child of prophecy, coming all the way down from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the father could not mentor him, could not tutor him because old age catches up with people. Take your destiny in your hands. If there's anything you can do, do it very well. Because the Lord will reveal himself through that thing. There's a particular brother that comes here. He probably might be here today. It's from the north, uh, Bauchi State. He comes here to do some electrical work for the church. Have you ever seen an outside boy that does electrical work? So good. Do you, how many do you know? Do you know them around? Very few. But the guy is extremely good at it. He could have chosen to be driving a keke and nobody will find any problem with him because it's, it's the usual. The guy just told himself, as long as there are buildings, there will be electrical fault. And as long as I'm good, all people need to do is invite me once. They will get my number. If you are the one telling your customer, sir, let me have your number, you are failed. If it's your customer saying, give me your number, that means there will be a repeat business. Instead of praying and binding, be good at what you do. It's not the devil. For to be a prayer warrior, be a prayer warrior that gets answers. When you become good at what you do, who stays or who goes doesn't matter. Yeah. Come on now. I said who stays and who goes in your life doesn't matter. Yeah. When they hear about you next time, you've moved again. That's the Joseph anointing. In verse 4, as I begin to round up, and Joseph found grace, unmerited favor, in the sight of Potiphar. And he served him. The grace was for service. Sir. The moment that there was a discovery that there's something special about this lady, there's something special about this boy, and they saw your body language even at the meetings. You are in a Zoom meeting. You are in some kind of a, a business meeting, whether online or in the office, and they say, oh, can we ask Buki to say something? I say, oh, thank you for that opportunity. They don't, okay, thank you for that opportunity. It, it would not have been an issue if it was a culture to say that. Because the, before now, they called Kunle, 
Yeah, yeah. I just want to slightly disagree with uh, Morola Ke. You know, some of these things, they are not workable. They are not realistic. And we have to be sincere. Because, you see, the current inflation rate, as per the data released on Friday by the CBN, uh, does not really put us in a good uh, position to carry out this project. I think we need to hold on. Uh, uh, however, if we still insist, I think uh, we may want to go into the market very slowly and... Uh, it's not your money they want to spend. You are just an employee. The boss of that company brought an idea. You couldn't see or find any way to make that idea better. No way. You know, the inflation rate are determined by, and really we don't know if the governor of the CBN will be governor this week because uh, there seems to be a lot of problems, especially the cash swap. You are speaking grammar. You are about to be fired. You are about to be fired. You don't know it yet, but I can smell it from afar. They say, oh, uh, James, say something. Say, thank you, sir. Um, I, I, think it's such a, I think it's a great idea. I, I think some people can run with it. Um, I, I, will, I will drop like a few things we can do to make the project work, maybe we can incorporate those things and uh, wisdom. You don't have all those ideas there. You only brought something that, like, okay, somebody is thinking. The moment you said, sir, I thought about the project we did at uh, the Sherry last year, and you know, that was really a fantastic project, which you also brought to it. It's not, it, you are not looking for attention. You are getting ready to be promoted. Everything about you can be nays, naysayings and negative bad blood. If you slept in your house and there was no light overnight and the mosquitoes kept you awake, why should I expect anything serious from you? You did not sleep at night. You want to pour your frustration on me. Let those of us who slept well bring the ideas. Say he found grace. Ah, Go and see the captain of the army. Tell him I'll be with him by 4 p.m. Okay, sir. <clears throat> so I got there. I saw him. He also said to tell you, deliver the message professionally. Don't say because your boss is your father's friend. <laughs> daddy. Who is your daddy? Sometimes we don't know why we fall out of favor. I have things I do outside here. And if I have to do it with um, church members, please don't call me pastor. Please. I, I take God, beg you. Because this is not a church. That's how I want to get my PhD. So I can, if you don't know what to call, call me doctor. Or call me Mr. Binga. I'm fine. And when I get to heaven, they put brother in front of my name. What's your problem? Say, Pastor, yes, sir. And that's a uh, thing. I say, I, go, go, get out of there. Leave my office. Leave, leave now. Go. When you know what to do, come back. Say, Pastor. Who, who is your pastor? Who is your daddy? Say, my daddy in the Lord. On Monday morning. Who is your zaddy? You... <laughs> a lot of us are the ones who are acting ourselves. We need to study Joseph. Joseph was not a citizen. He, everything was against him. The Bible said he found grace in his sight. And he served him. And what happened when he began to serve? Look at the later part of verse 4. When he began to serve, Potiphar made him what? The overseer. Did they make him an overseer because he was, he was good at speaking English? Every effort that he made moved the business forward. Come on, are you here now? If you are here, you want to employ somebody who works in church, or sorry, who is a member of the church, please don't even start that whole, uh, you are welcome. Uh, this is just a walkover interview. You are, we are already one. We are one in Christ. Uh, I, and I see the way. I know pastor loves you. You are fired. <laughs> that guy was made an overseer because of his contribution. Come on, say contribution. He was made an overseer 
He doesn't report to work at the same time his boss comes. If resumption is eight, it comes before eight. I'm telling you, some of you are listening, you want to hear this Andrew Revelation. I'm telling you how you will prevail in the days to come. They asked my boss while I was in the bank, nominate somebody that will be fired. I didn't agree with everything my boss did. Okay? But he's my boss. QED. The age gap between us was not much. But it didn't matter, Jack. I've been in my office and my boss went on leave and there's another one of my friends who was like a step higher in ranking to stand in for my boss. And I go to her and say, I'll to my share. How do we do this work? Okay, you know what? You do this one for me. We are friends. But as of today, he is the manager. Oh my God. He is the manager. I, I won't say sir because he's my friend. I'll say Wali. I'll say Chuku I will go and say, but okay, this one. Ah, you need, there's a mail. Check, 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 check. You need to respond now. Covering his back. The day. <laughs> uh, the day my boss was going to. I know, don't be deceived. They will tell you that uh, they don't know who recommended your name. They were the ones. Whether you get promoted or not, HR doesn't know you, they know your boss. It's based on what your boss says about you. He's very helpful. He's always on ground. He's never sick. Even when he's sick, he comes to work. There are some people, when they have ordinary headache, they just send text. Pah. Their fingers are so fast. Pah. Ask my wife. I told her, don't ever send text to your boss. She said, that's the way they're doing their office. I said, no. Text message has no emotions. You may be somewhere with your boyfriend. At 6 a.m. Screaming for all you like. And you are here, say, 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 I have my dream. I know why you have my dream. Say, let me hear your voice. Say, good morning, Mr. Binga. Eh? Talk well, talk well, talk well. I can't hear you. Don't play on my mind. You are lazy. He was made overseer. Because, you, see, you would think that all these things are small things. God is telling you how he determines who he lives. Everything is not grace. Some things are works. Grace we select, but work we qualify. Don't go to the office and you are getting to the office the same time your boss is getting. You are, saying, you are both strolling in. Say, why don't how's your family, sir? Because in your own village, you can be asking your boss how his family is. How's your night? Do you, do, do, do you really want to know how my night was? You, you want to know. You still don't know. You see, at, at your age, you still don't know. You, you, you can't ask somebody how, how his night was. So it's a Nigerian thing. That's why we kept you here. You, you, we didn't allow you to go to Canada. <laughs> you go and ask the British Prime Minister. Say, how, how was your night? Say, arrest that man. <laughs> he wants to know how my night was. Arrest him. Maybe there's something he needs to tell the DSS. Or <laughs> he put in the work. He looks for the best way to channel his concerns. Always a positively minded person. A lot of Christians want God to give them the yam and the knife. And God says no. That Netflix you are watching is dulling your mind. If those people who are acting in those movies are behaving like you, there will be nothing to watch. Those things are for entertainment. After you've done your work, you can relax and watch. It's not when you wake up in the morning. Let me quickly finish that episode I was watching last time before I go and brush. After it's remote work. Show up at your remote work without brushing. After all, it's on, it's on teams. Nobody knows who brushed and who didn't brush. All those things will reflect somewhere. There was something that Potiphar saw before he said, be the general of Asia of this house. There was only one thing he kept away from Joseph, his wife. <laughs> you don't go and do general of Asia in the wrong place. <laughs> Something significant in verse 4 is that he found grace and he saved. 
every time there's a release of grace, the next thing to be looking for is how to utilize that grace in service. If you have a gift of prophecy and you are not prophesying, you will not grow. Verse 5. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house. The overseer there is like saying manager. Okay? It's not always about your qualification. For instance, if I had to step down from the leadership of this church, and that may be very soon, I will choose character over anointing. Even if your anointing is like fire, like menorah. Hmm? I will choose character. Somebody that knows how to relate with people. Eh? You see someone like daddy sitting here now. I said, all of you that will need healing, come out. And you are laying hands on the head of somebody old enough to be your father. They, we don't, you, are, you cannot be the general overseer. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. You will be assisting the new general overseer. Because you can lay hands on anything. <laughs> You're always serious. You cannot play. People cannot relate with you. People cannot approach you. You're always in the spirit realm. You cannot be the senior pastor. The only thing about you cannot be your gift. Say, so it's a prophet. And so what? Prophet has five children. <laughs> eh? And he's a prophet. And he has time for five children. How did he get there? Elisha, you sinner. So I'm praying now. You go. I'm praying now. I'm in the, I'm in the midst of a seven-hour prayer. We are seeing the results. God is answering all those prayers. We are seeing them. <laughs> Five children, four, four boys, one girl. God is doing mighty things. Our God is a mighty God. Five children, only you, wicked man. I want to kill that woman. <laughs> You, are, you, are, you have no discipline. <laughs> you have no discipline. That, it's okay. When you, they give you the B for school fees, you will know. You will know you have, you've passed your boundary. There's a way you're about to say, Oh, Gui, Oh, Gui, Eh? Oh, Gui, Gui, Koja, where are we? Eh, eh, so, yeah. For our foreigners, it means what they said. <laughs> he said, it came to pass from the time that he made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for whose sake? For Joseph's sake. That means there are some things people will get benefit of because you are in their lives. When I was in Ifa, I was doing my master's, and in those days of extra cool, how many of you remember the days of extra cool? If you, if you did extra cool, then raise your hand. All of, please, I want to say something. If you did extra cool, raise your hand. Who are you calling, boy or girl? <laughs> if you are a lady, and the person you are talking to was also a lady, raise your hand. I want to bless you. I want to pray for you. Forget that fecker thing. Forget that fecker thing. Okay, you are a brother, and it was another brother you are came. <laughs> oh, Lord, Shami. Oh, God have mercy. You, 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 are, it was a, you woke up 12. And you know the way that thing works. You have to fastest finger. If not, the network will start jamming. M and glue. You know, empty and glue. So, okay, you are a brother. You are calling another brother. Raise your hand. God bless you. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Ah, they are not here. So where are the people raising their hands now? <laughs> After you wake up and come to church on Sunday, your eyes are supposed to say, Pastor, I've been awake. As if it was prayer you are praying. You are calling Sumi. Then half of this is our call. You spend half of it saying, can you hear me? <laughs> because the network is not clear. It was extra cool that saved my relationship. <laughs> That's where I'm going. It's not even about you. <laughs> I was in Ife doing my master's and uh, my wife was already working at the bank. So, me, I have to assert myself that, you know, we are also going to make it. And I've told her she's coming to Ife. Yes. I said, I cannot live in that Lagos. You come here. 
They are going to give me work here as a lecturer. <laughs> you know, she's such a, I can't, looking back now, even me, I can't follow me. How she was able to navigate that period, I don't know. Because me, I can't. I, looking back now, this wicked boy, in fact, past time, you want to kill my star. I cannot marry you. Kill all day. I will leave Lagos, come and leave. They say, if everywhere is quiet, no, no noise, they, I will live on campus, serene, will do ministry, I'll be a professor. You know, I, I, it's like, ah. so one day, you know, and then is this extra cool? So, Hello, hello, it's not correct to you. Why we talk now? I'm talking, you know, you I'm answering you. We use half of it to fight <laughs> because of the network. Yeah, you can't be getting something free without paying something. At least somebody must shout. If you cannot pay money, you pay shout. Extra cool, cool, cool. Under the tree because you must not wake up your colleagues while in the hostel. So we we'll go outside, say, network is class. It's a lie. He's empty and jamming the thing. He will say, Yeah, okay, I can hear now. So, so what's your plan for today? <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> you say you are taking your fiancé. What are you talking about? Talking about you are just spending your money. Come and ask me how to do it. <laughs> By the time you fight, she will be able to ask for donuts and anything. <laughs> you scatter the table, break it. Let's okay, let's ask for forgiveness. Let's pray. Okay, let's go. It's only transport fair. Okay, wait, wait. Just, just delete what I said now because. I have to pity my brother here. And <laughs> but this is what I was trying to say. I was in a relationship with this woman. She was already working in the bank like a month or two. The one day I said to her, I feel it's time for me to work. The Lord has told me it's time. But I didn't know where. All my heart was that maybe to be Oban Femi Law University and I've done an interview and I did well. But you know, ASU strike. Satan can use ASU to strike to delay your destiny. So I was waiting. Then my wife asked me, Are you ready to work? I said, Yes. Say, Can you work anywhere? I said, Say, in Lagos, say yes. So you will get a job. It was a prophetic statement. I said, Amen. Because when life deals with you, you can't argue again. I'm not joking. You can say, I know I believe in Christ. I know I pray. I pray demons are cast out. I, well, when I call upon heaven, there's a movement in the constellations, the angelic orders. Are, but you are broke. When you pray, angels are moving left and right. But your pocket is not moving. <laughs> my, wife, my wife said, are you ready? Because you keep making noise. You're only shouting. Are you ready to listen to me? I say, yes, okay, you get your... <laughs> because you shout, shout, shout. You're just a shouter. Nothing. Nothing in your pocket. Nothing. This is my friend here used to be the one giving me money. Hey, why? One day he sent me money. The balance in my account, plus the one he sent, now hit 10,000 round figure. I couldn't withdraw the money because it was the first time I had 10,000 in my life. <laughs> After I look at him, I'll go to ATM, check the balance. Say, yeah. <laughs> one of these days, I will have 100,000. One of these days, I will have 200,000. And I can say, why, thank you. I really appreciate you. Say, no, 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 no worry. They were both working in the same office. So I will not tell her ah, that AY is the one giving me the power to shout. <laughs> so anytime AY is not talking to me, it's a problem. I have to humble myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so everybody is here. They are here. They are here. Uh, who, who, who else is not here? <laughs> He never thought I would be his pastor one day. And at some point, too, we are thinking of going off the relationship. So if you want to break up, I got you. Come. It's not today. The month after, the month after, she declared that word. I'm talking about Joseph being in the life of Potiphar and God deciding to bless Potiphar. Not because Potiphar was doing anything right, but because of his servant. Ah, you are the one giving my servant food. Where is his room? This is Joseph's room. You are the one that gave Joseph's room. Ah, I will bless you. What, what did you eat today? Say, yeah, my egg. You gave my servant, yeah, my egg. Hey, I'm going to bless you. Hey, you, you are the one that gave him transport fare. You saw him at your daughter. He said, hey, you are nice, so I'm going to bless you. That scripture establishes a principle that when you minister to a man that God has favored, hey, there will be a remem book of remembrance for you. 
When you say, Pastor has everything, Pastor, I have everything in Christ. In Christ. I don't buy clothes, I don't buy shoes, I don't buy anything. I was telling my vest, I want to go and scrape my head. Scrape everything with my beard. Wear those long Catholic father cassock and go on the mountain for three months. I won't need to comb my hair. The weather is even hot, sir. So just looking at me like this, that I've come again. Listen, it was a declaration. Because some of you don't believe in your wife. Some of you that are married, you believe your wife is nothing. It was the declaration of my wife that activated the prophecy that Pastor Raph, Prophet Raph gave me several years ago that the Lord said he will send me to Lagos and I will work in the bank and I will do ministry and I will be a pastor and I will be a prophet. It was the prophecy in Sokoto that my wife's utterance activated. If you like, keep staying around people that talk down on you and making you feel less of yourself and you stay, you say you don't want to fight and they're always telling you things that make you weep and you stay there. What's our spirit? It was the next month they called me. I read an expired GMAT. It didn't matter anymore because the word of favor had been spoken and I got into that place and I did the test in Ekiti, Adu Ekiti and I left. The employment was for Shawnee Bank, Ekiti State. They told me I will live in Ekiti. I was already planning how I will buy land and build house and I'll be a big boy. In Ekiti. What's in Lagos? I'll put DSC, we pay for food bouquet. What's there? I just chasing them, say, we traffic, traffic. What's Lagos? This Akure mentality. Akure, this Osogbo, Ilari. Say, I don't like stress. No, I don't know what they are doing in that Lagos. Come and find out. Come and see. That's what Jesus, that's what they said to Peter and Nathaniel. Say, come and see. When you do a small job and they pay you 100,000, your heart will skip. Eh? Is this how people are seeing money? I say yes. <laughs> my wife prophesied into my life. It was on the phone. Say so you get a job. The next one month, I was invited to Shawnee Bank. As I finished, I carried Ghana must go back. You know that Ghana must go red, red and white to Oshoni Bank head office. That big one we use when we are going to uh, boarding school was what I carried from OAUFA. Because I didn't care and I didn't want the job. The people around you can bring favor. Ooh. You have to be deliberate and selective about who you align your space. I want to come and greet you. I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to bed. Oh, I'm not around. It's not a lie. I'm choosing myself. My... You did that one last year. Don't do it this year. Be deliberate. I, they finished the interview. What did they ask me? Who is our MD? I said, Cecilia Ebro. What do you know about the MD? I said, I don't know. I said, but I know she used to win award. I used to see it on NTA. NTA. Can you imagine? NTA. Okay. Where would you like to work? I said, HR. <laughs> I, I opened my mouth. I said, HR. What is HR? I said, I don't know. But I like, I, I didn't hear HR. Sha. They laugh. They say, HR is by selection. It's not by interest. I said, mm. that's why I heard that thing for the first time. Say child, it's not by it's not by interest, it's by what? Selection. Now we go call you. As I was going, I carried my bag. I was going back to I was on Ozumba, going back to under that uh, what's that bridge there? Uh, that cantonment. Bonny camp. camp. I was going to Bonny Camp. They say, Where are you going? I was at the case. Say, come back. I said, ah. I said, I'm I'm true. Come back. What's wrong with you? I came back. Say, take this letter. Ah. I said, now, so God, they take answer prayer. I will say, what? He say, go to that clinical diagnosis. I said, I don't know. He say, look for it. Go and do tests. Hey, do you know what I started thinking? I said, ah, maybe you have HIV. Maybe you. Th- hey, wicked Satan. I started thinking about all my sins. I said, ah, it's today my, I will be exposed. I said, it's today. My mind first went to HIV. See, hey. So when I did, I went there, I sat, you know, hey, your Lord, Sharon. when I went there and I sat down, they said, come and do it. They said, do I just unboot myself? When they finished the test, I went to they said, you can't go. I said, no, I, I want to wait. <laughs> they said, you can't wait here, you have to go. I said, please, uh, I'm from uh, Ife. Please, can you tell me what is, I said, is there HIV? He said, we are still trying to tell. I said, let me wait. He said, young man, go. The moment they ask you to come here, eh, already die you. I said, what if I have SS? If I'm an SS? They say it doesn't matter. 
I said, are you just trying to encourage me? Say, young man, you don't worry, you are new. Five years from now, you'll be a big boy in Lagos. I say, amen, sir, amen, sir. I was, I was just like Joseph that they brought from his father's village to Potiphar's house. He's not looking. Say, what's this? Say, it's a 63-inch TV. He, hey, it is a, that a BBC radio we used to use in our house. So what, how do I touch it? Say, just, just, you know, touch this screen. It's touch screen. Say, hey, oh my share. He's walking. You know? They say, what's this one? He say, it's car. Hey, it's like our Jangi, that uh, Range Rover, that Jangi Rover we used to. Say, this one, no, say, this one is remote. Too. He say, hey, you are, you are in a new season, but it's strange to you. I was there, I, I could not go. I went to stand by that water on Ozumba. I was just praying, say, Father, hey, if this is your will, oh, I, I know I've been sinning in the past, too, but I don't, <laughs> I don't want to have HIV because I know they will not take me again. It, it's not, I'm just being not, I'm telling you what I did. So naive. So fresh, but yet chosen. Do you understand? I was chosen. I was my and Satan we want to do in my mom's house around the like, fellow girls. We don't have light in Akure. So I moved to Obaile with one uh, that Nokia phone with antenna. Always charge because Satan must not do you. That is when they now call you, your phone will be off. Ah, I don't imagine. So I wasn't sleeping on the bed for one week. I was sleep on the floor in the parlor with the phone. <laughs> Sunday, Monday, I say, ha, e. Tuesday, hey, I be they no take, they no go call me again. Wednesday, you know when I sleep, I I start having vis- dreams of, you know that kind of dream, like they called me, then I would not wake up. <laughs> Thursday, my phone rang. When I saw zero one, ah, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I just picked the phone. Hello, good morning. Say, is that Benga or Shafel Luagba? I say, yes, please. Say, my name is Muiwa. I'm calling from the HR Oshani Bank International. I say, thank you, sir. <laughs> say, please, we would like you to come to our office tomorrow morning to pick up your appointment letter. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I was in Akure. <laughs> in our email, we go tell me, say, make a no travel. <laughs> I got to that place, and it was a boy that was in my school that I had an opportunity to do evil to, but I refrained to from. I could have spoken against him because something happened then, and I didn't pass a comment that was standing there. He was in HR. Holding my letter. He was my junior on, on campus. But here he had served. He did his NYC in the bank. was now a full staff. While I was gallivanting, preaching, he came to work in the bank. He now said, ah, pastor. He said, I wanted to hand over your letter to you myself. I said, cloak of where you go? Deji. I said, Deji, you are here. He said, yes. He said, I was the one who selected your name. <laughs> this word, eh? <laughs> then, if the boy sees me on campus, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Oh, you, you, you don't you know I'm the man of God? If I was going to pastor this morning, but something happened and we could have done something that would have hurt him greatly. And we refrained. And I told pastor this morning, let's leave this boy alone. The boy was standing in my future with my letter. He could have seen my name on that list that day and bypassed it. Nobody will know. God chose to favor me because of certain people that he put around me. That would be your story. Yeah. That would be your story. Yeah. Listen to me. This is the story of Joseph. So don't just be losing your temper and be feeling cool that you are a specialist in losing your temper. These people may be holding your letters in the future. It happened to me. I'm not a fool. It's not because I want you to know about my life. I'm telling you because as it is in the scripture, so it is now. God blessed Potiphar. Potiphar was a worshiper of Satan. But because he accommodated a child of God, God said, "Mm, let's preserve him. God wiped out the dynasty of Pharaoh because he was mean to the people of Israel and he would not release them to go into their freedom and God wiped them out at the Red Sea. 
The scripture says that God has written your name upon the palm of his hand. You are special. It doesn't matter what anybody says. God is mindful of you. Come on, I say God is mindful of you. It doesn't matter what anybody says. God is mindful of you. And God has a complete story written about you. God is not depending on any man. If the man who is meant to stand and show you favor refuses, God will raise another man for himself. But you must embrace service. You must embrace your a genuine heart for God, understanding, love of God, and with every supply of grace, serve. Serve in the church. Serve in the office. Serve your husband. Serve your wife. Sometimes when you are washing your clothes, wash some of your wife's clothes. She's not your slave. Pray in the Holy Spirit and receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace.